In this tutorial, you will learn how to use Rhino inside Revit to create Revit window families based on distributed points in Rhino. We'll go through the process of using multiple window families from our Revit template and combining them within the same host wall. Let's do it. Hey guys, Dushan here. Before we start, if this is your first time here, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our channel as we upload new tutorials each week on Rhino and Grasshopper and how to use these tools specifically for architecture. All right, so let's start. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create one single line here. I'm gonna type polyline. I'm gonna click from here to here. That's gonna be our curve that we're going to be using for uh, the creation of our wall, which is going to be the host. So. Uh, here in, in Grasshopper window, I'm going to type the curve and I'm going to add this curve that we just created. Set one curve. Uh, we also need uh, to create the wall. So I'm going to add the wall component and this is going to be our curve, of course. And now you can see that we already have the wall uh, uh, directly in Revit. And uh, let's let's move on from there. So now you can see in my, uh, in my uh, Rhino viewport that I have the height here that is like the default height. However, if we want to change that height, we can simply add the slider here, for example, and we can change that uh, that height if we want. Uh, from that point, we also need to choose the type of the wall that we want to work with. So I'm gonna go here to the input. I'm gonna say model category speaker, and I'm also going to set element type, type picker. So this will give me the ability to choose uh, what type of wall that I want to create. So I'm going to scroll down until I find uh, walls category. Here it is. And I'm going to move it here. And now this is going to give me all the families within this Revit template that we have and all the walls that we have available. So let's go with the basic generic and let's put it to the type. And now you can see here that in, in my Rhino, in my red viewport that wall is created and also let me show you if I change this to let's say something else you can see that the thickness here is also changing so uh, that's pretty cool because you can really create uh, whatever whatever kind of walls you want directly here uh, within uh, within Rhino uh, and Grasshopper so let's move on uh, from here I'm going to uh, start creating my my points so in order to create the points I'm going to type Point, and I'm going to simply put one point here. I'm going to copy it multiple times like this. All right, so let's let's select these. Let's say set point, move them to the Y and click here on the end. And now at this point, uh, we need to like distribute these guys as as we want. So imagine this is going to be the position of our of our wall uh, and our windows position for our windows. So now uh, let's say that we ha we're happy with, with this distribution and now I'm gonna sell, uh, come here to Grasshopper and I'm gonna choose the point component. That's gonna be all my points. I'm gonna select them, right click here, set multiple points. Now we have them and now we need to, to select the uh, add component uh, by location. So we want to add a component. In this case we want to add the uh, in this case, you want to add the window, so I'm going to copy the model ca uh, category speaker. I'm going to select the window here. And uh, this is the option that I have. So I'm going to select, for example, let's say this one first. Let's go to the type. Uh, regarding the level, we're going to leave it as default. Location is going to be the location of these points. And the host wall is going to be uh, a wall that we just created. So once I click here, you will see how in my Revit, I actually see those uh, those created right away. And uh, not only that, but I can I can control I can control within Grasshopper everything that's connected with it. So so for example, let me show you what I mean. If I take this out like this, uh, so that you just see what what you're working with. So for example, uh, I can change the the type of the window here can uh, create it as something else uh, and then I can also change the the height if I wish if I want this wall to be taller I can I can uh, uh, I can change that and also uh, an interesting thing is that uh, it doesn't need to be only uh, these kind of points like we can add multiple families 
within the same host file. So let's try to add another family, another type of the window here on, on the same on the same wall. So in order to do this, we need to uh, actually multiply this element here. I'm gonna copy this, and uh, we also need uh, this add component by location. We need to copy that, uh, but let's let's take it from here. Maybe it's better, like so. And of course, we need new points. So we need new points, and they're gonna be our location, uh, and this is gonna gonna be our type. And the host will be the same wall, but we'll come back to that later. Now let's, for example, create let's create uh, another set of points. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, type here a point. I'm gonna create one here, and then I'm gonna duplicate it. Let's say four times here. Let's put it in the position. Uh, let's put it here, and now I'm gonna distribute it as as I want. So, for example, this windows are going to be some different uh, different type, different family, uh, and you can also do that. So, for example, I'm gonna select all of these guys, and I'm going to, to say here, select uh, set multiple points, and now we have uh, those points, and now all we need to do is to add the host. So I'm gonna hold shift, add a host here, and now you can see in my Revit, that we have different position of different windows and that's very cool because it actually means that you can add many variations to to your families in the same host file if you're interested to watch this extended version of the tutorial and get this definition you can do so by becoming our patreon and you'll get access to other extended tutorials that are only available for our Patreon members. The link is in the description. I'd like to thank all of our Patreons. Thank you guys for the support. If you like what we do, please consider becoming Patreon yourself. And if you like a structured approach to learning right now, Grasshopper, architecture presentation and rendering, you can apply for our Rhino for Architects 2.0 course. First link in the description. See you soon.